Light has always fascinated and mystified us. It has represented life, knowledge, and wisdom. Throughout the years, the leading experts have considered it to be a wave, and then a particle, then back to a wave, and then a cute little Jewish baby was born. He was very smart, but the only Nobel Prize he won was in his work with the photoelectric effect. He demonstrated that light was, without a doubt, quantized. He was Einstein. And not only that, but different frequencies of light have specific and measurable discrete bits of energy. I will demonstrate with this mercury parkelane how this works. Imagine a photon being a speed bump. The longer the speed bump, the less impact it has on the car. A really short speed bump can even rip the tire right off the car. Whoa, I needed that car. But if one were to illustrate a photon, what would it look like? How many oscillations does one photon have? When it travels at the speed of light, is it frozen in its reference frame or does it wiggle like a worm? Of course, there is the classical dual electromagnetic model as well. When an atom absorbs a photon, its electron jumps to a higher orbital. The orbital is really a region of probability where you could find the electron. As that orbital collapses back to a lower energy level, a photon is generated. But I show a probability wave because there is no way of knowing where the photon is until it is measured, that is, destroyed. The double slit experiment demonstrates that the photon follows a path dictated by a wave, even showing the interference pattern. The photons aren't canceled out, just the probability wave clusters the photons. And so for the first time, we unveil the Preisner Photon 1.0 model. It includes the three-dimensional attributes of rotational momentum while not having to move in its own time frame. Well, thank you subscribers for following Quantum Light TV. The easiest way to support this channel financially is through Patreon. Until next time, stay curious.